to prepare the salt water, I'm just going to add a small amount of salt. This amount of salt should be sufficient, as you can see there. I'm just going to use tap water to dissolve it and make about 500 mils. That looks about good enough. Looks good. And now we're ready to determine the density of the salt water solution. Now I'm going to use this 100 mil graduated cylinder to measure the volume of two samples of the salt water. Now accurately record this volume of the salt water in the graduated cylinder. And remember to record it to the correct decimal place. Rather than directly weigh the graduated cylinder with the salt water on the balance, I'm going to use this small beaker as a container for the salt water and weigh the beaker and the salt water. But first I'm going to tear the balance, clear it, and then weigh the weight of the beaker. Now I could tear the weight of the beaker, clear it out, and add the salt water, but I want to show you a technique where we could just subtract the weight of the beaker just in case you need to use different balances in a lab and you're not able to get back to the one that you teared. So I want you to record the weight of this beaker. Now I'll add the salt water. and record the weight of the salt water and the beaker. Now you have the data you need to determine the density of the salt water. Here is a second sample of salt water in the graduated cylinder record this volume to the correct decimal place. Now record the weight of this sample of salt water. Now we'll use the burette to measure volumes of salt water. Notice that the solution level is not at zero. When you use a burette, the solution level does not need to be at a particular starting value. Now record the initial volume, or V1, to the correct decimal place. Now I'm going to dispense approximately 10 milliliters into the small beaker, which is now resting below the burette tip. Now accurately record V2. Use V2 and V1 to determine the volume dispensed. Now record the weight of the beaker and the sample of the salt water from the burette. Now I'll dispense a second sample from the burette. Your V1 now is your V2 from the previous measurement. 
I will dispense approximately 10 mils of the salt water solution into the small beaker below the tip of the burette. Now accurately record V2. Now record the weight of the beaker and the second sample of salt water from the burette. 